what time is it? 18 minutes past 12. So just finished watching another Hollis Builds, finishing his live stream of uh, crazy box breaking, which was pretty awesome. I couldn't, couldn't be there the entire time, but I left it running in the background, that's for sure. Um, and uh, that was a lot of baseball cards. And by the end of it, he, he was saying that he was just seeing, just, it was all a blur. <laughs> And I think that that'd be the case for anything. Um, so uh, yeah, well well done. Another Hollis builds. Big up to you right there. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, at this time now, I'm really tired of myself. You know, I've been working on on the uh, on the GP checklist checklists dot com, trying to uh, like get use the data pulled from the da database this time and actually uh, generate content that way. So there's there's still a lot to do on it, but. We can definitely see light at the end of the tunnel for that, but I do have to definitely do a logo for it. I'm actually a, a complete mess right now. Very dishevelled at the moment, but uh, let me just drink a little bit for this. Look at this awesome shot glass. Look at that. Yes. <laughs> That's a crazy looking, it's like, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> anyway, um, I have got three pieces of post web open. <clears throat> here's two of them. Oh, let's go to thingy mode. So here's two of them. And then I have this. This is rather exciting. Um, as you can see, I don't have my usual background setup. I actually gave the... Uh, the the mini um, I forgot what they're called now the mini garbage pail kid uh, box I actually uh, sent that over to Spoons Twenty Twenty so he has that right now um, but we're gonna leave we're gonna do this one last I need to make this sort of quick I don't I don't know I mean I always make these videos and they always end up twenty minutes long but uh, so we're gonna open this one first let's see what this is and then based on what we see we're going to also show some other stuff but that's pretty cool. I need to get into this eBay kind of, um, uh, they've got the, the cheap way of doing it now. They actually let you do uh, envelope style as well. So uh, as in like, instead of paying for a parcel, you can also pay for just stamps. And I like that. So what we got here, what do we have? Okay, look at that. <coughs> So I made a sale on eBay, and because of that sale, I think most of that money went into the bank, or a chunk of it anyway, and obviously paid for things I'd, I'd bought prior. But uh, I did manage to get a few little purchases here and there. Jesus, that's not coming off. Get off. Get off. Okay, so there we go. Awesome. That is fantastic. Look at that. Brilliant. It's so weird collecting these and then being more rare than they were in the first and second series where you could just get them in the blasters. Um, so that is absolutely fantastic. Let's get him here. Look at that. Obviously he's, he's in the distance, but I need to find out where you get these envelopes from because these are brilliant. They're absolutely brilliant. Really sturdy, strong envelopes. Maybe USPS has got got them. Oh, okay. So I bought these by accident. <laughs> I actually bought these by accident. These are sleeves for card savers. I actually thought I was buying card savers. <clears throat> but I kind of just went, okay, you, you have to bite the bullet, don't you, and just accept it. But uh, So I've now got 50 sleeves, so I can... So I can put this in there, I guess. And it's safe. There we go. So, but I don't know. It's cool. I didn't. I didn't mean to buy this, but once you've done the purchase, you just have to accept it, don't you? So there we go. I've. I don't know. Yeah. If I've. I, if I could use them for like um, PSA graded cards, that'd be great. But I think that's. Yeah. It's a shame. I've got them. I'll put them away, and at some point, I'll actually realise I can't live without them. But uh, that's that. So this is fantastic. Let's just have a quick look at uh, 
at my rainbow for for Bruce Lee. So there we go. So we got the. Uh, let's get this going. Let's do this quick. So we got the base refractor. We got the atomic. Two atomics. There you go. Get some focus. We've got two greens. We got the uh, the green wave. Two purples. <laughs> Black, and <laughs> we got the orange. So. I'm actually looking for the purple wave. Uh, oh, sorry, and then we'll get this here. Um, and, uh, well, so I'm looking for the prism, uh, the purple wave, and the black wave. Uh, sorry, the black, and then the gold. Oh, I've never seen a gold in anywhere. Never seen one. Um, so, not doing too bad there. That's that's pretty good. That's, that's awesome. That is actually really good. So, let's get all these back. Look at that. Look at it. Absolutely amazing. However, <clears throat> let's look at this box. This is very, very interesting. We're talking six minutes so far, so that's pretty good. Let me just cut it. I'm gonna cut it. Yeah, I'm gonna cut it, man. I'm gonna cut it. Yeah. I'm gonna cut this. I'm gonna cut it, yeah. I'm gonna end up cutting my own thumb again, and uh, so my thumb's doing alright, you know. There you go, you can sort of see where the end had a bit of an unhappy time. It wasn't, you know, when someone says they, they sliced the end of their thumb off, it's, it always sounds like you feel like, like to the nail, like as in like there was actually a chunk of thumb that came off, but it wasn't that bad. I feel like I'm gonna cut my whole hand off in a minute though. <laughs> it's good, good packaging. Very mucho impressed army. Let's get that open. Yep, open up your little bugger. Okay, here we go. So what we got in here? Well, I'll tell you now. I mean, it's going to come up anyway, but 60, 60 smackers, including postage. This is a good day. This is a worthy purchase. This guy on Facebook, he had about 25 of them, all stacked nicely. And when I messaged him, he had about 10 left. And uh, and he said that in his post he actually got these from rack packs, so none of these have touched. Oh my god, look at that! That is perfectly in in this. Oh my life, that is amazing. <clears throat> Just look at that. Look at these corners. Look at that. There you go. OS3, right there. Oh, that's amazing. Um, actually, let me get this over here. So, uh, so that's it. I've done OS3 right here. Here is a perfect OS3. And I guess, should I get them out? I mean, how many of these have I got? I haven't got enough. I've only got 25 here. If I get them out, then oh, I should get them out, shouldn't I? So that we can just quickly glance through them. Uh, I'll do that, and then I'll uh, I'll put them safe in a in a folder and keep some of them in here as well. I'll definitely have to save some of them in in here, like the Roy Bots, the Hothead Harveys, the Snooties, and the the Joe Blows and the Rod Wads. They all have to go in these. Definitely the Karate Kates. Right, okay, and the uh, and then the 107 as well. I've got the, the Tatum pole, Tatum pole. But uh, I've got a few OS3 packs myself. But this just makes it so that I'm very happy. You know, as in I've I've already got that goal. So it means that the OS3 packs are more more relaxing. You know, rather than oh, I've not completed the set, so I feel sort of slightly stressed because. I'm opening up these OS3 packs and I know I'm only scraping the surface. But this is actually amazing. Right, let's get some of these safe. Right, let's, start, let's do a bit of opening up then. Wow, 25 there. I've got to be really careful. <laughs> I'm going to be careful on this. Right, here we go. I mean, I, I guess some people would just keep it in here, but... 
got that. These are amazing, these things. And I've washed my hands and everything, so... an entire pack of us three it's one healthy attraction on the feeble-minded of course and the continuous motion if they just let themselves follow it of course you could stare at it till doomsday dr watson with no effect at all still it might make you a little drowsy like the white ribbon of road at night when you're driving. The rhythm is smooth. It's wonderful, the attraction on the feeble mind, of course. But the continuous motion, if they just let themselves follow it. Of course, you could stare at it till dreams day afterwards with no effect at all. Okay, right, this is this is many, many days later <laughs> after all of that. Um, so that was cool. Uh, don't forget the, the music that was playing. If you liked it, then, you know, you can go over to SoundCloud. I think a thing came, might have come down. I'll, I'll see if I can get those things to come down so you can get the direct links. But I, I went I went through it all. I was confused why I got four US Arnies and, uh, or, you know, four uh, Snooties and US Arnies and four um Alice Islands and uh, Liberty Libby and all that sort of jazz. So I was very confused. So let me just go through. So the, these are ones that I bought on on eBay. So they're all like not the best quality maybe. You know, some of them are not too bad. But this is me just buying some things on eBay. Just going, I've got to get some. These I actually opened myself. Um, and then here we go. So these are the ones. I, I guess they were safer maybe in that pack. But So the guy selling them, he had like 25 of them. Um, 25 piles. I assume they were all the same. 25 piles of OS3, and I found out that all of the variants, so all of the um, the uh, card errors. So this one here, you've got Joe Blow, Rod Wad, which has the barber back, and then you've got Joe Blow and Rod Wad with the principal back. And then the same for Big Sister and Teacher, for Yusani and Snooty Sam. And then let's keep going. And oh, by the way, these were like heavily, heavily OC. Look at that. Poor Roybot. 
massively OC. Um, but that's fine, you know, I'm, I'm fine with that. Anyhow, uh, I was really gutted that the Bruce Lee and the Karate Kid were, were OC as well. But that is fine again as well. As long as these, I mean, like, all the way through opening them, I was like, are these legit? Are these not legit? But, you know, it's down for interpretation. I think that they're probably legit. But it's just, you know, my question is, is how easy is it to get the variations? Because, you know, obviously, I, the other two are here, so they're flipped with the, the backs. And then, look, you've got Alice Island with the white and the black text. So it's it's like every card error he this person also had in the, in the pile. Did they have 25 of those? Are they that easy to get that you can do a very quick collection of the card errors and everything. I thought card errors were quite rare and so that's that's the thing that leads you to sort of question things. Now I know that there's people out there that can print uh, OS1 and OS2 minis that have the the same little uh, cutout. So obviously they can do that for the larger ones and to be honest with you, you know, I paid $60 for this and even if it's not legit and I'm like 80% positive it is, that's still quite high. I'm still happy with the purchase because, you know, these are pretty authentic <laughs> if they aren't. So I'm happy with that. Um, so there we go. So I've, I've got this collection here. And then three years ago, I bought... Let me get over to this one as well. Three years ago, I bought this one for about $30. Let me, uh, let me show you. Here you go. So I bought this for about $30. And, and again, I was like, are these legit? Same sort of printout quality, everything. Um, and again, I was like, fine. These are so damn authentic, and they probably are. But I was like, they, you know, I'm just happy with these. So I don't know. I, I just don't know. But like I said, I'm about 80% positive, probably 85% positive that these are all legit. But it's just, you know, the, the question is there is it easy to get um, the error cards? I thought it wasn't. But maybe the error cards are easy. There's a lot of like one star and two star on the back, so um, you know if this this person opened up a lot of the rack packs, which means you know obviously there's no gun damage and things like that. And maybe there was a lot of one and two rack packs. But it's like, how the hell did they get hold of so many rack packs to make 25 complete sets plus um, error cards? But either way, uh, you know it was excellent. It was great opening them, and I've now put them in a more dangerous situation because even though they're, they're sort of safe they're not as safe as they were in that pack stored in a container somewhere so I've probably made it worse but I will make them really safe at some point in the future I'll probably put them all into top loaders when I, I eventually can get that many top loaders but uh, there we go that is that so uh, I can now get this video up which has been sat for about a week <laughs> in my folder ready to go so it's gonna go and it's during the daytime so I can actually talk loud come on Oh, and uh, yeah, I just uh, I opened this up with Matt. So that was on his channel, Matt Hollis Builds. This <coughs> opened up on his channel. Um, so that was awesome, and the cards are up there. <coughs> They're on the top here. I don't know what to do with them at the moment because I don't... There you go. I actually got the gold. How cool is that? A gold... Oh, there we go. What one is that? Arrgh, 2A. Can you imagine if I'd have got the gold 1A? Or if I'd have got the gold... Um, Adam Bomb or Adam Blom Blamonge. Adam Blamonge. They missed out. Adam Blamonge. Tops, come on. I, I just figured that out. Adam Blamonge. You could have done that. You're going to be going. Oh, food fight part two. Food fight part two. Anyhow, right. Bye. I'm looking at myself, but yeah. Bye. Thanks for, thanks for watching. Goodbye. <laughs>